laptop? I did mine on a laptop. And somehow it masks our number and it just comes up as a different number? Yes. Yeah. This is a test. Am I muted? Test, test, test. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're in Canada, you're going to be charged Canadian, Canadian shit, Canadian tariffs. I think it's going, it's all going through online. This is all online. Good. Yeah, it should be. It should. Um, yeah, you shouldn't get charged. I don't think. So these are all registered Democrats that we're calling. Is that is that right? The script is pretty cool. I got to say, it looks according to my script. Yes, Jake. That's what. <laughs> where yeah, where did you have the script, there, uh, Osric? Um, I I I went to that site, the um, the twenty twenty victory dot io slash djj login. Oh. Signed up to the thing. They, and then I said, ready to make calls. Um, I see uh, Christine shaking her head. Does that mean they're not registered Democrats? They're just registered? Yeah, well, we're turning out folks who um, could be uh, independent or, or leaning Republican that um, have identified themselves as pro Joe Biden and Kamala Harris supporters. Oh, okay. 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 Good. So we won't get too many uh, <laughs> insults, angry slurs. <laughs> and, and if we do, what is the protocol? If I call somebody, you, uh, you, I, you would just say, I, I didn't hear a single thing you said. <laughs> you muted. I see, Jen. <laughs> you would just say, Misha made me do it. He's a horrible okay. person. And then you're, and then, you're fine. <laughs> and then I give him, I give him your cell phone number and have him call you. Okay. This is easy. Right yeah. Or, or physical address. Okay. Either way. So no one. Oh. Um, all right. So we have actually people watching us now. Like uh, people, uh, uh, 1600 people, 1600 wow. people who are desperately looking for guidance on how they can help join in this <laughs> um, too. world's <laughs> largest uh phone bank. Um, so we are going to walk you through this step by step. Um, which is what we've been all doing. <laughs> we just hung out, uh, the cast here, uh, just hung out for a little bit. Um, and uh, we've been doing tech support with, with one another for the last uh, 15 minutes. So we're gonna try to shorten that window for you and make it nice and quick. Um, Charlie, would you be able to put up uh, the link where folks can go uh, to sign themselves up to help phone bank? So if you go to this www.2020victory.io forward slash DJ login, um, we, we, we created that URL just to make it especially challenging for you. Um, so, so type that in to your browser and then you can create an account and you can start. A few things that you might be concerned about when we're calling people, you're, you're going to be reaching real live human people in Nevada. These are all registered voters who have ballots um, or have already voted, but but they have ballots uh, in their hands uh, that are probably sitting on their kitchen tables or in their mailboxes. And we are going to be encouraging them to cast their ballots um, by bringing them into a Dropbox. We're encouraging people not to vote by mail at this point because it's getting a little late for that. So we're encouraging people to take their, uh, fill out their ballots and then drop them off in a ballot Dropbox. Um, you are going to be talking to people in Nevada. And uh, we also have a little bit of information um, which we can screen share as well. Uh, we'll give you another second, maybe give folks another second to look at that one before we screen share the information on, is it, I'd love, uh, there's no way to know whether people have actually figured this out. Um, um, Text banking is also, I'm just looking at the comments that folks have, have uh, sent in already. Uh, text ban banking is also something that folks can sign up for. Um, but we can give you a little bit of that information at the end of this hour. For now, we're just going to be focusing on phone banking as a group and see if we can reach a few tens of thousands of Nevada voters and get them out to vote. Uh, a lot of people are probably scattered and dealing with COVID and don't uh, necessarily remember that they need to get out and vote or um, aren't paying attention to the fact that maybe a ballot has shown up in their mailbox. Um, so gentle reminders, encouraging them to vote for Biden Harris. Uh, we're uh, on this call, the folks that, that you see on your screen, we're also gonna be encouraging everybody to vote blue down the ballot. 
Um, and now Charlie is going to also screen share with you um, some information that you can just take a photo of on your computer to, if you know how to do um, if you know how to do a screen cap. If you don't, if you're on a Mac, I can tell you it's Command Shift, Shift. and the number three. three. Um, oh, three. Yeah. No three. 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 Um, but if you're on a PC, <laughs> I don't know what you do. anybody Anybody on a PC? Anyone? Uh, it, it's complicated. Yeah, it can't, it can't it, on on a PC. That's everything on a PC. You need a, a piece of tracing paper and, uh, <laughs> and, and a pencil. Just, just or just use just your cell phone. Open oh, yeah. Screen. Or use your phone to take a picture. Uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Anisha, do, you, um, do you want to tell everybody what phone banking is? We've been seeing a lot of comments oh, from younger yeah. voters. Yeah. Phone banking is something that old people do, young voters. <laughs> um, and what we do is we call people on their telephones. Some of these people might even have landlines. Um, and... When they pick up, when and for the for the young young supporters here, you might not know this, but uh, you you can actually speak to somebody uh, using your voice over one of these devices. Um, you don't have to just text or uh, Instagram <laughs> chat. Um, so uh, we're going to be calling people. If they answer, you say hello, and then uh, what's customary is to share your name first. So hello, this is uh, in my case, I would say Misha Collins. Um, and I'm, I'm calling to encourage you to get out and vote. You, you, I don't know if you voted yet, but if you haven't, I'd like to chat with you about it for a minute. And, um, and when you go um, uh, to that URL that, that Charlie put up on the screen earlier, um, you will see a script. So it'll tell you exactly what to say when you make the call. You're, you're free to riff on that a little bit, um, but try not to be too, um, you know, try not to get in arguments with people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're trying to do here. Um, we're just trying to encourage people to get out and vote for for the Biden Harris ticket, and um, and now Charlie, do you have that available to to screen share um, the? So that's that's phone banking, and it's it's a really effective way to to get people to vote because uh, sometimes people are just too busy or weren't going to do it, but they heard this nice person call, uh, and they're and they're going to do it uh, just because they got that little extra nudge. Um, not this screen, Charlie. Um, we do leave a, a voicemail mm -hmm. if someone's not there, correct? Yes, leave a voicemail yeah. uh, and you can give a, 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 a summarized version of your um, uh, of your script in that voicemail as yeah, well. Yeah, that's what, that's what I did. So I made my first call and it just went to voicemail. So it, on the thing, it just said, I said, hi, and I tried pronouncing their name. It was hard to do. And then I said, my name's Catherine and I'm with the Biden campaign and just reminding you uh, to go and drop off your ballot. And if you have any questions, just go to, and then I scrolled down for a while looking for the website. And then I said, I will vote.com forward slash NV. Great, good job. Fabulous. You're a, good you're a job. model a model student. Um, <laughs> Uh, okay, um, Charlie, we we had a we had a, a, a an email that we sent out that uh, that uh, told everybody who's uh, on the ballot in Nevada. If if that's something that you could get uh, your hands on and screen yeah. share, that'd be great, so that that everybody can screen cap that, and then I think we can just go back to the sort of tile view uh, in our Zoom call, and we can start making calls. Um, and maybe we can mute and unmute ourselves yeah. um, so that we can, you know, hear a little bit about what's going on for people who want to be watching uh, our, our Zoom conversation, phone bank, um, but maybe don't like totally talk over each other the whole time. How's that sound? Good. Yeah, okay. sounds great. Let's sounds do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, so, so Charlie's going to screen share that in a second, and I am going to start making calls. In the meantime, ready. Um, hi, hi. You're hi ready. Guys. Um, oh, by the way, we want to clarify something. Kat in and Ruthie are are not U.S. citizens. Um, and Osric, you, you're on a you are on a, uh, a work permit, right? I'm on a green card. On a green card. It is perfectly legal for them to be making phone calls. But if any one of those three calls you at home and asks you to donate money to a campaign, you should flag that because that's illegal. Okay. All right, let's get started.
Misha, I want to hear you do one first. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm trying, but of course. That's now it's making me it's making me create an account again. <clears throat> yeah, I did it on my computer, but I'm doing it on on the phone because it's easier. How is it on the computer? Is it okay? It's fine, except we have the Zoom call going on. Oh yeah. Uh, Rob's on a call. It's working. Share the sound so we can hear. He left the room. <laughs> is he Why is he ashamed? <laughs> Rob's so polite. I love it. He's on it. He's on his roll. It's like he caught a fish. Ooh, Rob's got one. I just got, I just talked to one and he said I already voted for, and I couldn't understand what he said, but I got nervous and I said, okay, well, thanks. Have a great day. Well done. If he's already voted, it, it really doesn't matter at that point. So. Oh, wait, how do I mute you guys? Because when I was leaving a message, I could hear everybody talking. How do yeah, I? Yeah, it's easier, I think, to do it on the yeah. phone. How do yeah. I? So, um, for this looks call, like he's on a business call can, right now. You can turn, you can mute uh, the volume on your computer, or you can turn the volume all the way down on your computer. Oh, oh OK, OK. And, and my mic will still pick up my voice for the voicemail? Yeah. OK. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Oh, you're actually making the calls on your computer. I don't know if yeah. you do it through if you do it through your laptop. I don't know if they can hear the other voices coming through the Zoom because I was just doing one and she didn't seem to react to Misha speaking behind me. So oh oh okay. <laughs> she wasn't. A fan. I, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I think that's how it works. Hey, should we be asking right. them if they if they say they already voted? Should we be asking them if they voted Democratic or or uh, what's what's the important stuff to get out of that? I think this list is, is are Democrats, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Christine, can you weigh in on that? Yeah, so we encourage folks, if they've already voted, um, obviously, if you feel like you're having a good conversation with them, feel free to complete the script and mark the script appropriately. Um, but if they're just like, I voted and want to get off the phone, then you can just mark them as um, not like not contacted. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Oh. Ruth, is Rob still uh, ch ch chatting with someone? They might have you muted. I think ah, you typical. have to mute. They do that to me all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's the life, Misha. Hey Christine, what's the what's the call on leaving voicemails? If you're comfortable with it, you can leave a voicemail. If not, um, if you don't leave a voicemail uh, and you don't mark the, if you just mark that they're not home, then we will um, try to do another call through uh, through a different phone making process. Um, what you guys should know is that when you do talk to voters, they are 3.8 percent more likely to actually turn in their ballot, um, and as you guys know. We lost uh, Michigan in 2016 by like 1.8%. So the work that you all are doing right now literally could be the difference in this election cycle in these battleground states between winning and losing that state. Um, and as we like to say in Washington, you could turn out a million more people here in the progressive blue part of Washington. That's not gonna change the electoral map. So the work you guys are doing to turn out voters in Nevada is really, really making a difference. So thank you so much, Misha, and to the cast for joining everybody today to do this hard work. Thank you. Charlie, I have a question. Are people able to ask questions if uh, if anyone is is feeling nervous or having trouble? Yeah, anyone? so we, we're taking Q&A questions and we're answering them our, ourselves as well. But we'll uh, you guys can see those as well in case you want to address anything, especially from Christine. Oh, and also, we've got a few esteemed guests here that can talk a little bit more. We've got Sahar Sanjar and we've got Brianna Jenkins here. Uh, if you guys want to uh, chat a little bit too and introduce yourselves. If we send them to iwillvote.com slash NV, will that give them uh, ballot drop box locations as well? Does I will vote provide that kind of information? I think so. 
know if I will vote does, but if you go to IamAVoter.com, um, that has uh, links to headcount, which does give you a lot of information there. So um, I can speak only to I am a voter for the moment, but um, it's easy to find. Okay, thank you. So one good question I see is that when, yeah. uh, when people are done reading the script, do they start asking their own questions? Do they just disconnect? That's something from someone on the call who are asking. Uh, they, I would say there, there's more they can talk about in terms of down ballot and stuff, right? Is that? Yeah, the that script that we've provided, Rachel, is just obviously for the Biden-Harris campaign. Um, and if they don't get a hold of anybody and they've left their voicemail, please feel free just to mark not at home um, and, and move, move to the next call. The ultimate goal is for us to actually get a hold of that voter. So we want to make sure um, that we get a chance to try to pass them through the Fund Bank universe again in the next couple. Oh, of days. oh. So should we should we mark a left message or no? Yes, if you can, if it's okay. on your script. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. And Misha here. Sorry, I didn't follow. When we leave a message, I left the whole script as a message. It seems a bit long. Is there a? I yeah, you can just shorten that, Seb, to saying, hi, this is Seb, and I'm calling on behalf of the Biden-Harris team, checking in to make sure that you've got a plan to vote today. Uh, look hey forward there. to yeah. um, with you again. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll shorten it, yeah. I okay. am... Um, <clears throat> hey, everybody, can you guys hear me? Yeah? No? Oh, you can't hear me? Oh, I got to go now. So um, I made, like, four calls, and uh, I left, like, one... No. Two, I talked to one guy and um, he already dropped his thing off and then I left a voicemail with one and then the other two, it didn't even like let me do a voicemail. It's so weird, it just kept ringing. So, but yeah, I gotta go, um, but have fun and uh, and uh, and go vote if you haven't. Bye. And I gotta say, this is hard. So many people aren't picking up their phones. Is there, can we text people? Can we text? Oh, we don't know the number could be a, a landline though, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Um, we, we, you, you have to be, you're, you're not gonna get, um, most people are not gonna answer. So, so the voicemails can be helpful. And- um, So far it's and, five out of five. You, you never, um, you never shy away from a challenge, Osric. Oh, you're right, okay, I'm back to it. And, and uh, to answer the person who wanted to know, do we go beyond the script? I, I would say personal connection is really wonderful if you, uh, if you feel comfortable connecting with them and asking them you know, if there are barriers or difficulties they're having and helping that, see them through. If not, direct them to the website, I'm not comfortable. Please experts tell me if I'm giving good advice. <laughs> I was about to say, Rachel, it's clear you have phone banked before uh, because that is one of the biggest pieces of advice that we give folks is to check in. We know that it's really tough times right now, given COVID and everything that's going on. You know, feel free to make that personal connection. That is going to be the thing that really helps drive people um, to feel like they want to invest in getting that ballot turned back in. So, Rachel, good advice. Keep it up, guys. Um, that's going to be the difference here. I have a question on your email, on Kristen's email about... Um... Kristen, Kristen Lindsay. That's a that's a different person than Christine Reeves, right? Um, there's a state Q2 is removing the permission that makes marriage recognized regardless of gender. So because wording is so crazy, do we want to to keep marriage recognized regardless of gender? Do we want yes or no on Q2? If it comes up. I'll let whoever sent that email answer that. Um, again, the script that we've provided is really about um, Vice President Biden and Senator Harris. Right, of course. So, I just I, I figured I would have as much information as possible. Yeah. Thank you. Cool, Did Thank you. you. Did you get someone, Misha? How's that go, I got, I got voicemail. Um, who, who's talking to people? You guys, if you are talking to somebody, maybe maybe um, unmute yourself because it could be good to hear. 
Well, some people also wrote that it's going really well and that they had anxiety, but that it's been smooth and pretty easy. So that's a, that's a good encouragement. That isn't a good encouragement. I got a Dennis Snowball. A what? Dennis Snowball. That's a great name, especially for, for Nevada. That's so great. I hope you get your friends in on the vote with you. Go to the polls together. Sounds great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I voted too. Thank you for asking. All right. Bye. Bye. Nice work, Sahar. So cute. <laughs> she was very excited to vote and made sure I was registered too. <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry, I'm going. <laughs> So one of the other things people asked was what do you do, what do, you do when people are rude? Um, and just, I think, except the fact that, you know, we're all busy and going through things and you might get that response to nothing personal and um, move on to someone who maybe you can help. Hey, Brianna, what's the latest in Texas? What's going on down there? I know there was some issues with uh, ballot, ballot drop off and stuff like that. What's the latest over there? Yeah, there's been a lot of back and forth because first Governor Abbott put it in that there will only be, I think like between five and 10 ballot boxes for all of Texas, which if anyone's ever been to Texas, it's ginormous. Um, so then there was another fight uh, in the courts to get that seen as unconstitutional. And so now I think you're allowed to drop off. It's them, they were deciding which ones to keep open and which ones to close. Um, so we've actually just seen people just going and voting in person instead. Um, Texas has early voting um, from the 12th to the 30th. Um, so here in Austin where I live, you can vote anywhere in Travis County, no matter what your district is. Um, so you see, so we, like I said, we've had a lot of people already do early voter turnout. <clears throat> we've had more people um, vote early than we did in 2016. So, and also Texas, oh. again, is leading in early voting. So humble brag, but here we are. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. We have seen a lot of really great candidates um, who are running Democrat um, doing a lot of campaigning here. We've had a phone bake. I think there's had like three or four phone breaks every day for every single candidate. Um, a lot of people passing out literature at the, at the polls. Um, the first day here in Austin, there were like lines around the block and seeing everyone stay in line um, and do that work. And then also, again, living here in Austin, um, a few friends and I are, are joining the Pride, no, the Joy to the Polls initiative which is like a party at the polls, if you will, on election day, so that the people who are voting on election day, um, we are going and having musicians and magicians and DJs and people donating food. So we'll be there to keep everyone in good spirits to make sure that everyone stays in line and votes. Oh, that's great. That's better than militia and cosplay. <laughs> that's awesome. So really someone, excited. Someone, yeah, we yeah. started coordinating today. That's awesome. Someone was just asking if they're too young to vote, what can they do? And those are great ideas of things that you can be a part of that encourage others to vote, even if you can't. Absolutely. And yeah, we knowing like a lot of folks not being able to vote yet. Um, yeah, volunteering. Obviously, we're all taking the precautions between wearing masks and being a social distance, but like having stuff there and, and encouraging people to stay or wait in line on their behalf if they do have to. Yeah, and I, th I saw people baking cookies and distributing water and lemonade or whatever, you know. Yeah. That would be, if you're young, go out there and, you know, help the people if they have any problems with their ballots. Uh, inform yourselves, even if you're not of voting age. It's true, it, you know, just be there to volunteer and help and be a positive influence. Luckily, but, I was going to say, luckily it's warmer here in Texas, um, but a friend of mine was voting in Philly and there was obviously a very long line, um, but, and there was an older woman waiting in line. And so someone went in to see if she could go like cut the line and vote and everyone in line let her yeah. go. 
If you see older people waiting to vote, maybe, you know, have someone hold your spot and see if they can get in so they aren't waiting in the pool to cast their ballot as well. Yeah. That's lovely. Make some hot chocolate, some coffee. <laughs> it's true. Those if you are can't you, vote, do yeah. all that stuff. Those of you that text with Misha and know that uh, Random Access is helping uh, do uh, snacks for voters as Great. well. So you can coordinate how to help people bring water and snacks uh, in a safe, socially distanced way. Yeah. I've hey, you guys, gotten... I, I just figured out how to get the um, audio to stop uh, while you're making calls because it was driving me nuts. So if you go to the mute uh, section with the little mic and you click that arrow, you'll see something um, that says leave computer audio. And if you click that, the audio from the Zoom cuts out and then you can sign back in when you want to hear everybody. On, uh, oh, so, on the mute, on the mute yeah, by audio on the bottom, on the bottom the, left-hand corner. That's right, bottom left-hand corner. Oh, so, so you can do it on your computer then? Yeah, then, that, then you can do it on your computer and it won't be like as great yeah. at once. <laughs> okay, see ya. Thank you. Here. Thanks, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lauren. Everyone is picking up my calls. <laughs> That's awesome. Shocked. So mute. Which one is it that you mute? Lauren, which is the one that you mute? Sorry. Uh, stop computer audio. Oh, leave computer audio. Okay. There's a question in here. There is there a number for someone um, who asked about voter intimidation at the polls? If you go to 866rvote.org, or if you call 866rvote, um, they specialize in voter suppression um, and helping people stay protected at the polls. So 866rvote.org. Oh, I just finished my first complete call. That was very exciting. Fine. How'd it go? Yeah. It, they both, it, well, Barry wasn't there, but um, his wife was, and they both already voted, and they're very staunch Democrats. Gwendolyn was very angry that I wasn't calling her, but I called Barry instead. <laughs> I had this cute lady making sure that I cast my ballot, and I was like, yeah, I'm calling to make sure you did. <laughs> Very cute. So, Har, do you want to talk about I Am a Voter real quick? I think just to introduce everybody. Yeah, sure. Um, so, I Am a Voter is an organization, um, it's a nonpartisan uh, movement really that aims to kind of create a cultural shift around voting and civic engagement. And so, our goal is to get people 
involved um, in the process because we know that democracy works best when we're all involved. And so that's really what we aim to do. And we were, you know, originally focused on voter registration and now we're focused on making sure those that we registered get the out there and vote um, by changing the way this generation thinks about voting. Uh, creating a sense of FOMO for voting maybe, uh, where it just seems like the coolest thing because it really, really is the best way to get your voice heard. Um, and that's what I Am A Voter has been doing for the last two and a half years, uh, really just encouraging you to understand what's on the ballot and what's at stake every election, educating you that it's not just about the president, it's about governor seats, it's about house seats. It really just goes down um, the line and locally and nationally are elections that everyone should think about. And of course, we've got a national election ahead of us, which is what we're all working towards, but really educating yourself on the issues and knowing that your voice really does matter. And so that's what I Am A Voter is. If you have any interest in uh, texting our robot Zoe, if you send um, a text to the word voter, if you send the word voter to 26797, Zoe will respond and answer a lot of your questions, in fact, and help you find a polling place, um, confirm your polling place, give you some information that you might need. Um, otherwise, you can go to imavoter.com and get some more information as well. Um, some little statistics that I think are interesting that I just would love to share with anyone who is listening, just to really remind you how important it is to vote is, you know, back in, 2018, in November of 2018, um, only 46% of people between the ages of 18 to 24 year olds were registered to vote. Only 46%. I think that, you know, the future is yours, youth voter, if you're listening. So make sure that you vote. Um, make sure you're voting down ballot. Make sure you know what you're voting for. Educate yourself. Get out there. Get involved. The really, truly, truly, the, the future is yours. And so... Time to make uh, if you had turned in your ballot and uh, and if you were at a voting plan and if I could uh, if I could persuade you to vote for Biden and Harris when you do get out there. Yeah. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> I'm having um, uh, issues when I call on the phone and it's uh, I haven't reached a person, but when it goes to voicemail, it suddenly the sound goes away and it disconnects. Oh, interesting. On both my computer and my phone. Maybe it's because yeah, I'm in Canada. I don't know. That was happening to me. Too. Yeah, it's a critical election. And I'm, I'm really glad to hear that you're, you're planning to get out there. And I, I don't know if you know how it works, but, it, uh, but you know, in Nevada, you get, you get your ballot. Uh, you should be getting your ballot in the mail. And uh, if you fill it out and then just drop it off at a ballot drop box, um, that's the best way to do it. Um, that, that I, I'm not sure that that's an option for you. I think, I think you've got to fill out a, a physical ballot. Yeah. Oh. If you, anyone who's listening, I just want to mention that if you have your ballot, make sure you're not mailing it in at this point. Make sure you're dropping it off at the ballot box. Um, with five days left to go, the USPS is moving a little bit slowly. So just a reminder if you're hearing me. <laughs> a little bit slowly is. <laughs> you mean I Louis, Louis, de, Louis de Joy slowly? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Or Louis, I don't know how you pronounce and it. And that's super important to remind your friends and anyone you're calling as well. Okay, yeah, just tell tell her that, that Castiel said hi. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> you too, bye. That sounded fun. How was that, Misha? It was great. Um, it was really funny. Um, I, yeah, I end all my calls saying tell her that Castiel said <laughs> hi too. Um, that's really funny. Um, but yeah, people don't necessarily know even how to vote or, you know, I mean, that's, that's a barrier. Like he, he yeah. thought that somehow he could just, you know, go online and, and vote. Um, oh, wow. and 
wish, but that's not an option at the moment. Not, yeah. not, uh, yeah, not, not <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and for any of you phone banking in Los Angeles or in California, there are fake uh, drop-off boxes. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to direct people to register drop-off boxes or to vote in person. And ballots in California, um, when you receive them, they give you about three different options as to what the local ballot box drop-off is for you. So I would just suggest making sure you're reading your ballot and dropping off at one of those locations and not kind of just choosing your own. And while we're speaking of California, if, if you guys don't mind, if, if you live in California in Orange County and you happen to be in District 48, um, please cast your vote for Harley Ruda. He's in a very, very tight race against Michelle Steele. And uh, it's a little bit like Biden Trump where, um, you know, uh, Harley is all about inclusion. He's fighting for LGBTQ rights. He's fighting against climate change. He's fighting to, you know, to save health care, all those things that are good. And so um, if you haven't cast your ballot yet, please um, consider Harley Ruda. He's been very legislatively busy he's passed three three bills in his first uh first term so we got to get him reelected again hey um i'm trying to reach sarah is this the right number for sarah sorry you, you broke up for a second I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach sarah is this the right number for sarah hi can you hear me oh okay all right thanks Yeah, there's a couple of people who have written in that they're too young to vote and want to know how they can be a part of this, but they can still do phone banking if that's correct. Am I correct in that? You're absolutely correct, Rachel. And um, we've actually got a couple of folks who have already been uh, in the Q&A hey, talking yeah. about it, um, uh, about the work they're doing. So yeah, keep, keep it up. Technical question. So we signed up online, we get this phone number on our screen and when we dial the phone, our number has been coming up as a mask number. Does it come as Joe Biden or what does it come up as? It comes up just like um, uh, it would a local number. So basically it's masked through the, the system and you get, um, it shows up as if somebody from a local phone number was calling that person. And how do we get it to stop doing that when we're done phone banking? Um, you just don't log back into the system. Nothing about your phone changes. I don't have to log in on my phone. The website does it. The website does it for you. It's amazing. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Here's another really good question. Uh, someone who wants to know if they can keep doing this after our phone banking Zoom ends. They can, correct? Absolutely. We're going to be doing it every day from uh, 9 a.m. Eastern to 9, uh, 9 p.m. Western Pacific Coast time. You can go to joebiden.com forward slash take dash action um, and sign up for a local phone bank, a text bank, um, or you can download the Vote Joe app at the App Store. And that will actually connect you to contacts in your personal cell phone that you can um, you can call your mom, you can call your grandma, you can call whoever. Um, it'll tell you whether or not they've turned in their ballot and you can make sure to turn them out to vote as well. That's awesome. So we can literally check each other to make sure we're, we're doing what we say we're doing? You absolutely can. So anybody who's in your phone, um, phone base who has been um, uploaded to the national voter file will show up on that list and you can go into your contact phone through the Vote Joe app you can say, hey, Rachel's looking at Misha and Misha's got a smiley emoji because he's a four of four voter. He turns out every time. Uh, it's most likely that Misha's already turned in his ballot, but you may go, hey, Christine has a frowny face next to her name. What's going on there? And so then you may call me and say, hey, Christine, I see you haven't turned in your ballot yet. You want to get on that? And uh, it's unlikely, Rachel, that I'm going to turn off your call, but right. I know there's going to be a lot of folks like us calling today, you, a, a lot of folks out there who haven't got a hold of voters um, and we want to make sure that we're getting hold as many people as we possibly can. So those that's, are three ways that's that you incredible. Can that's so cool. And then I, one of the things we were talking about before we started the call too is I tracked my ballot to make sure that it got through and got registered. It was really exciting. 
Um, so you, we can do that as well. What are the best websites to send people to, to if they want to track their ballots? If you know, or uh, I don't know. I know for Washington State what it is off yeah. the top of my head. I don't know yeah. what it is. Same, same. I checked in New York State. It. So yeah, but it, but we can. I, obviously, most of us know how to Google search. That's how I found it. I just uh, checked in my my local state um, voter register. So. But um, to your point, Rachel, most of that tracking happens through your state secretary of state's office because that's who handles your election. So if you don't know off the top of your head, feel free to visit your secretary of state website um, to get information about your election process. Uh, and more than likely, you'll find the tracking app uh, at the secretary of state's website. Nice. It's such a relief. And it was like, it literally something I was like so excited. I was jumping around the house uh, just to know that it got counted and went through. Well, and it's a great way, Rachel, as you know, posting it to Facebook or other places, um, Twitter, Instagram, and letting your friends know that you've turned in your ballot. Science tells us that um, when friends see their friends doing the activity, they are more likely to jump in and do it as well. And so you as an individual can actually, again, have a, another, you know, three to 4% impact on turning out more people to vote just by tracking your ballot and posting it to your social media. I love that. That's amazing. You guys, there's a comment in the Q and A that just said, "I wanted like a little morale booster for you all." Is More of a comment was a little uncomfortable about doing this, and just had the best convo with a gal who had voted and was happy to find out how can she she can get involved. It felt so good and totally made up for the folks who hung up on me. It's awesome. That's so awesome. Love that. I am not lucky with my, the people I'm calling. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I got, I got through to two people so far. I can't even get, like, I'm lucky if I get an answering machine right now. <laughs> I get an answering machine, then it cuts off. And then I don't know when I'm leaving a message. So it must, must be, <laughs> I've basically had answering machines after answering machines. So you hear that, people? We, you should answer your calls because you might talk to one of your favorite supernatural persons. Exactly. Just saying. It's funny because I I have two missed calls since I've been phone banking. <laughs> two missed calls. <laughs> two missed calls <laughs> from unknown numbers. It might maybe it's a. Are game. you calling with your number? No, I'm calling with my computer now. Oh, you are with your computer, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try my computer now. Maybe. Well, and we'd love to just give you a quick update if that's okay, Misha. You all started this phone bank with over 1,600 people on this Zoom. You are now 50 minutes into your phone bank and you still have over 1,000 people on the Zoom making phone calls. And on the back end, I can tell you, I've participated in over 35 uh, different phone banks in the last couple of weeks. This is by far the largest phone bank that I have been a part of uh, so far. So. It's yes, you, know, you may actually have you may have broken the record. We'll see. Another <laughs> record, Misha. <laughs> I'll tell you though, you're going to be competing with the folks doing GOTV over the next four days. So if everybody can sign up for another shift over the next four days, yeah, uh, you'll be you'll be impacting the election all the way to the third. And all of you who joined in, thank you. You're incredible. It's been yeah, really thank you exciting. Guys so much. This I just is... got the outgoing voicemail of a psychic, and I want to I want to save that number and call back uh, on my own time. To I bet she knew you were calling me. She'll... That's right. <laughs> she, she, she knew it was me. We didn't pick up. Um, I, I, so I'm signed up uh, again to, to do some more get out the vote uh, phone banking over the weekend um, with um, 
with Mary Steenburgen and Ted Danson and uh, some other Ooh. folks. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be massive. It probably will. No. Overshadow the supernaturals. <laughs> uh, but if, but if we held, we held on to the record just for a minute and that's what counts. And it's lovely to see that there's still, there's still 1100 people on this zoom call uh, making calls. That's awesome. Um, that's fantastic. Good on you all for, for continuing to do that. Um, we're going to end this zoom call fairly soon. Um, but we wanted to leave you guys and, but, but, but we want to say a couple of things. You don't have to stop calling. Uh, you can keep calling. Maybe, you know, keep in mind, uh, the time zone and, and I would say probably stop calling at around 3 AM Nevada time. Um, but, um, but, uh, please keep calling. You're, you're doing important work. Um, as the Biden Harris campaign keeps saying that the character of the nation is on the ballot and, uh, and the future of not only our country, but the world is on the ballot. Um, it just matters. It, it matters so much. Um, so much of our economy is, uh, is, is, de is designated to government spending. So, so much of our tax dollars, uh, and how they're spent is decided by who the next president and who the next Congress are. Uh, and that's important. But what's also important is that our government decides things like who can marry uh, and and who has um, rights and 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 whether um, and whether we care about equality and justice um, or whether we're just going to be beholden to corporate interests or or to people who are in the the very top uh, one half of one percent um, in this country. Um, it really makes a difference. A lot of people say, well, it doesn't matter. They're all politicians. They're all politicians. That's true. But it does matter. And they're not the same. So it's really important that we get people out to vote for Biden and Harris. Um, that's my little stump speech. Um, and, uh, and, and I wanted to just refrain one more thing. And then maybe Christine or Sahar, you, you can jump in to sort of put a button on my ineloquence. But um, people really respond to um, peer pressure. And I don't want to say you should be threatening your friends, but um, yes, <laughs> but you should be encouraging your friends to vote and and let them know that you won't be their friend anymore if they don't. <laughs> and, um, uh, and and it's really true. That is the very most, the single most effective thing that you can do to convert other people's uh, votes uh, is to just talk to your friends and your family, people that you know personally, because those are the people that are really going to listen to you. Um, and and they're going to respond to the peer pressure like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do that or I don't normally do that. It's much easier to persuade a friend uh, or a family member to vote um, than it is a stranger when you're cold calling. So please do that. It's a way to amplify your vote. It's obviously critical that you cast your own ballot, but I think that probably anybody who's in a phone bank is already doing that. But don't forget to, to convert the people in your closest circles, because those are the, those are the votes that are, that's low hanging fruit, as they say. So, so please pluck it from the vine. Um, okay, yeah. any, any parting words for us, uh, Christine or Sahar? I just wanna say that voting is literally the coolest thing you can do. So make sure you're doing exactly what Misha said, call your friends, get them to vote, check in on them, make sure they have like the biggest amount of FOMO ever um, so that they get to the polls and vote for Biden and Harris. <laughs> and exactly. that's all I'm gonna say. Being FOMO. political is sexy, voting is sexy. Yes. And Just voting, like British no, accents. I, I, right. I, coming out of your mouth, Seb, you're absolutely spot on. And we would just say the easiest way that you can help do that is to go to the app store and download the Vote Joe app. You can unsubscribe from lots of emails. You can unsubscribe from unsolicited phone calls. You cannot unsubscribe when Misha Collins calls and asks you to turn in your ballot. <laughs> exactly. So down, download the Vote Joe app in the app store and start calling your friends and family and getting them to turn in their ballots. And also you can text, if you want to be a part of like the, the, the Biden-Harris uh, operation, you can text 30330, is that right? I'm going by memory. Yep, that's look at you. Um, and um, and what do you what, what do you say? You just text them and say, "I'm just, a help." Um, text the letters of your state. So, like for Washington, it would be W A to that number. You can either text join uh, to that number as well, and we'll get you connected to the campaign. Or you can visit JoeBiden.com and volunteer. And to and, reiterate uh, on Lauren's uh, uh, Harley Ruder race. You know, vote for Harley Ruder. It's true. He's he's been he's only been there for two years. Has done a lot. Uh, his name is Harley Ruder. R O U D A. He's in a tight race. So go vote for Harley Ruder. 
is in Orange County. I just had to leave a voicemail for somebody privately, so I'm not sure what's going to happen there. True story. It should beep, and then you 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 follow the script, but yeah, it might not beep. No, but it might probably. not beep. <laughs> um, no, but I want to. I, I again, I just I really want to say we need to win by a landslide. Yeah. Uh, there's so yeah. much voter suppression out there. The only way that we're going to combat that is if we all get out to vote. So yeah. Thank you all for. And again, yeah. when you're talking to your friends and family, encourage them to drop their ballots in uh, a ballot drop box. Yeah. It's really getting pretty late, unless there's absolutely no other option open to a voter. It's getting pretty late to drop anything in the mail, um, especially with the slowdown in the postal service. My kids just, uh, they, they mailed a letter to my grandmother who lives in Baltimore and it took uh, 33 days for it to get there. She just received it yesterday and they sent it over a month ago. So. Oh, wow. Um, the the post wow. service has been intentionally sabotaged in order to slow down mail-in ballots because Trump knows that more people who are voting with mail-in ballots are Democrats, and so he's trying to suppress that vote. So drop it off at a, at a drop box, even if there's a line, even if it's a little inconvenient, it's worth it. Um, and, and if you, if you yeah. can also, uh, uh, please, if you know of someone who can't go to a ballot box, give them a ride. Uh, you know, safely as possible, of course, try, try to, to mobilize your friends to help people to, to, to send their, their, their ballots. Do it. In California, you can sign it over to your friends so they, are, they can legally drop it off for you as, as well. Yeah. Yes, so if you that's look at true. Your state's rules, yeah. there's other options for people who can't uh, leave the house or wherever they may be. Um, thank you to the to the band and the Supernatural cast and Rihanna and Christine and uh, and to, to, the, to my team who helped put this together, even though I don't think any of you who have slept in, in the last <laughs> month have been about that. And thank you, Sahar. Thank you for being here, all of you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Misha. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Misha. Thank you, Misha. Thank you, Misha. Let's, let's win this, guys. Yes. We're going to win this. We're going to win this. Oh, let's bring it on. <laughs> Hi, and thank you. Bye-bye, <laughs> right. everyone. Thank you. Bye -bye. We're going to...